Okay, so Tesla stock is trading at a defining moment. It feels like it is now or never. Tesla has been sleeping for too long in this area and sooner or later it will do something great again. Today, it is stabilizing above a critical support level, which is good, but could this be the beginning of a true bullish reversal? I said it was a good move, but was it good enough? Well, that's what we're gonna see in this video. My name is Nathan and I welcome you to the Finance Hydra channel. So let's start our analysis over here looking at this chart. The bias is not the best. Tesla has been moving erratically since uh, February over here. We did this head and shoulders chart pattern. We triggered this pattern. We crashed over here to the first to the first retracement, the 38.2% Fibonacci retre retracement over here. And right now we are bouncing. Short term speaking, it feels like Tesla is in a bull trend because although it is not an amazing bull trend, Tesla is kind of doing higher highs, higher lows over here. Right now we are correcting to the previous support level and this is all that we know so far. Again, it is not an amazing uh, bull trend. Tesla is not insanely bullish, strongly bullish, but uh, we see some bullish bias over here in the short term. And this could contaminate, spread to larger time frames and uh, Tesla could trigger a long term bullish reversal, which we're going to talk about uh, later in this video. But right now, it feels like it is a shy, timid bullish bias over here. In addition to this, Tesla is not going to do anything incredibly bullish as long as we see this persistent bear trend on the S&P. The S&P is clearly doing nothing but lower highs, lower lows. And this is one of the problems with Tesla right now. A Tesla is going to follow the macro sentiment eventually, while the Nasdaq index is clearly struggling at a very strong resistance level over here, this black line at 12.7k. This black line did work as a top level once on September 12, 2022. Again, on February this year, multiple times in, in, in February this year. And uh, right now, again, in March, it is working as another resistance level. So the indices, they're all struggling at very important key points. Tesla right now is struggling at a very important support level. We're trying to react in this area, but uh, here's the problem. The main support level for Tesla, the main key point for Tesla right now is 187. 187, uh, we have been monitoring this key point since, since last month in in February because this red line at 187 is the neckline of this head and shoulders chart pattern. Uh, it did work as a support level one, two, three, four times. It did work as a resistance level a few times over here. And right now it feels like it is working as a support level again. This move obeys the principle of polarity in technical analysis, which says that previous support levels are going to work as future resistance levels and vice versa. Therefore, 187 is our key point. It doesn't matter if you are bullish or if you are bearish on Tesla. And, and, and this is the main problem as well, because, because let's say you are bearish. You believe that Tesla is going to drop to lower levels. 187 is the support level Tesla needs to lose in order to seek lower support levels. Uh, like the retracements over here, the 38.2, the 50, or even the 61.8% filling the earnings gap from January 26 over here. In order for Tesla to materialize a drop to such low levels, we gotta see it losing the 187. Right now, are we losing 187? No we are not losing this key point. Therefore, a bearish thesis gets weaker in this scenario. On the other hand, let's say you are bullish. Let's say you believe that Tesla is going to fly to higher levels. Well, in this scenario, you must see a crystal clear bullish reaction above the 187. Do we see a bullish reaction right now? I don't think so. I don't consider this bullish. Tesla right now is just stabilizing. 
in this area, which means uncertainty, all right? It doesn't mean bullish, it doesn't mean bearish, it means just that Tesla is uncertain right now. And as long as we don't see any crystal clear, meaningful bullish reaction above the 187, any bullish thesis will also get weaker in this scenario. So right now, Tesla is, as I said, it feels like we are sleeping in this area between the main support at 187 and the main resistance level at $200, this green line up here. The $200 in order for Tesla to actually, actually do something incredibly bullish, the $200 is our key point. This is our Everest. This is the resistance level that Tesla has to break in order to fly again. Probably, in my humble opinion, I think Tesla has everything to break the previous resistance area over here, this yellow area between 211 to 18 this area over here which was the previous top level from february 16 which is 2023's high tesla has everything to break this high over here however the 200 dollars that's the key point it gotta break not only because it is our main resistance level chart wise but because options wise let's take a look at options but first take a look at this website amazing website join the top five percent community in order to get access to premium analysis options strategies model portfolios and much much more now options wise for options expiring next friday march 31 we see a huge huge wall of options around 200 dollars that's the main key point. If we actually break, if the bulls actually break the ceiling, I do believe we are gonna see a sort of squeeze on Tesla and it could easily seek higher resistance levels. I mentioned it 211, uh, the area between 211 and 218, we see this area over here, 210, uh, 220, so Tesla could easily, easily seek this area over here in the next few days, next week. The volume over here around $200 is also spiking today. So it feels like investors are trying to prepare themselves for a next bullish leg. Uh, another thing that reinforces this thesis is that the put call ratio is relatively low, 0 0.79. This is quite good to be honest. So, okay, Tesla is indeed trying to react in this area. However, we don't see any confirmation. We don't see any bottom sign around the 187. Therefore, there is nothing else to do but wait for a clearer bullish movement. Of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day in this channel. So if you are still here and you are not my subscriber, what the heck are you doing? You liked the content. You wouldn't be watching this random Brazilian guy for nearly 10 minutes talking about Tesla if you didn't like. So come on, subscribe this channel. Click on the like button to support me. I really appreciate your support, my dear friends. Thank you very much. See you guys next week.